Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of May 2nd to May 8th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings and also... My readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. All right, let's get started. Let's see your energy for the week. Okay, let's take a look. First card that came out was the world in reverse for you, Leo, for your energy. We have Ace of Cups, Hierophon in reverse, Five of Swords, Three of Cups, and Four of Swords. At the bottom, Ace of Swords in reverse. Ooh, this is a stubborn energy, strong, strong stubbornness here. Okay. World in reverse, Ace of Cups, Hierophon in reverse. Oh, Leo, so you have a stubborn energy here connected to you. Um, I also feel a little bit jealousy. Also, I know I'm going to get attacked in the comments. For some of you, it kind of feels a little bit of a jealousy type of energy here with the Five of Swords. Especially with the Three of Cups. Almost like you're looking at someone and feeling you're feeling resentful. You're feeling resentful. Some of you are watching this person have a good time without you. Or like they're just acting like they're having a good time. Or they're kind of, um, I don't know, they're going out with other people. They're out, out and about. They're socializing. Some of you are watching this person through social media. Some of you feel like this person is just not acknowledging you or they're not respecting you, you know. Not it's not necessarily about you being jealous it's just about you feeling disrespected in some way feeling like this person is not treating you the way you deserve Um, cause I, I just feel like some of you are watching this person have a good time, you know, for, uh, for a few of you maybe, or one of you, <laughs> maybe through social media, they're making posts, you know, they're posting, um, things that would make you, that would make you think that they're just having a good time without you. What's the Five of Swords about, Spirit? How 
High Priestess in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. Okay, so you had expectations here. Because we have Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You had you had certain expectations with this person. And you feel a little you feel a little like cheated or offended, I feel, or disrespected. For some of you, you might feel like they went and did something with somebody else that you were waiting for them to do with you, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck with this card with the Three of Cups. I'm trying to figure out what is that. What's the Three of Cups spirit? Let me see if I can get information. Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands in reverse. This could be a third party situation. I forgot to say that, but the Three of Cups can be a third party. So some of you might feel like this person left you for somebody else or they're treating another person the way that you were expecting them to treat you. Some of you don't, you don't know if you want to even deal with this person anymore, if you even want to be involved with this person anymore. Um, I feel like you had hopes, though, with the Ace of Cups. It's like you had you had hopes for a new beginning, for a, for a positive new beginning with this person, but I feel like this person has just kind of let you down and disappointed you. What's the Four of Swords about, Spirit? Death in reverse and the King of Cups. There might be some sort of to cycle, like a, I wanted to say toxic for some reason, like a toxic cycle. We have Death in Reverse and the King of Cups. So some of you have gone some of you have gone against your better judgment with this person. You might be dealing with a player, by the way. Maybe that's what this card means also. The Three of Cups could be like someone who's just kind of playing around, playing games, being a player. But I feel like some of you um have gone against your better judgment. So some of you are just mad also with yourself. Five of Swords can also mean that you're upset with yourself because you went against your intuition or or your you go you went against what your mind was telling you, was advising you. And it got you in trouble. I feel like you something got yeah, I feel like it got you in trouble, the fact that you didn't, you didn't like, um, listen to your intuition. What's the Ace of Cups? Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. I really feel like you were expecting something out of this connection. Almost like you made a bet in favor of the relationship and it backfired or it just, it didn't work out. You ended up empty handed with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You thought this person could change and that wasn't the case. Or you thought this person would change for you. You thought they would change for you. You thought that they would see your worth. They would recognize your worth. But I don't think that happened. What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Judgment in reverse. You feel like this person is a liar? What's the four of um, pentacles, the moon? I don't know why you're going around in circles, though, Leo. I feel like 
the moon and the four of wands in reverse. I feel like you're going around in circles. I'm not sure why. I feel like you already know everything that there is to know, you know? So I'm not sure what you're, ex like, sticking around for, you know? I feel like you're sticking around in in a way. In in a way, you're, you're sticking around because you're... I mean, the world is in reverse. This is not over. You're, you're looking for more. You're, you're still attached to your expectations, right? You're still attached to your expectations with this person. So I think that's where the stubbornness is coming through here with the Four of Pentacles. Some of you are just stubbornly attached to your expectations. What's the Nine of Pentacles spirit? Eight of Cups in reverse, okay? And the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, but you don't you don't have any confidence here. Six of Wands is in reverse. You don't have any confidence um, that this person is going to come back towards you the right way, the way you deserve. So I think there's a little bit of an energy here of you needing to let go, Leo. Kind of feel like you need to let something go. Because I, I feel like there's there's no commitment here with the Hierophant in reverse. Okay? All right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here. I don't want to get attacked in the comment section. <laughs> Let's move on to your person. All right, Spirit, show me the energy of the person Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Leo, looking at your person, first card we have for them is the Two of Wands in reverse. Could be another fire sign in Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. The Nine of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. Oh, okay. The Eight of Cups. Wow. King of Wands and the Lovers in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have Three of Swords could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Hmm. Well, there's a dramatic energy here, Leo. It feels intense and it feels dramatic. Oh, look at that Hierophant again. Hierophant in reverse, Taurus. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. Didn't this card come up for you? I feel like the Four of Swords came up for you, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so you don't you don't believe them anymore, Leo? Is the problem? I think you don't believe in them anymore. I feel like that's that's what's going on here. Some this person's stressing out here. Eight of Wands in reverse. There's something about an abandonment, a, being abandoned here. Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Somebody abandoned the other person. Somebody walked away from the other person. Somebody ended things. Um, there was a huge disconnect here with the lovers in reverse. A big separation. 
I don't know who did what though. What's the Nine of Swords doing here, Spirit? Queen of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Something about lies here. There's a strong energy of somebody telling lies. Or like keeping secrets or omitting information. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. This could be due to a third party, by the way, because I'm starting to get that energy of somebody um, dilly-dallying, I want to say, with another person on the side. I don't, I don't know what that means, dilly-dallying. Because I do feel regret and like a, a, an energy of uh, a feeling guilty from this person. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. There's an energy of somebody feeling guilty, but there's an, also an energy of someone who didn't want to admit the truth. All right, somebody was definitely being a liar. Somebody was being a liar. Someone was being deceptive. Someone knew what they were doing. They knew that it was bad and they did it anyway. And it caused a big um, a falling out. It caused a falling out between you two. And I feel like this person is now suffering the consequences or like, you know, grieving over the consequences. We have the Hierophant in reverse. Again, there's a lack of commitment, but I feel like this person wants commitment with you, which is, which is the part I don't get. So I feel like they want commitment with you. So why, the, why are they not doing it? What's the King of Wands doing here, Spirit? You might have um, pushed this, well, well, like rejected this person especially if you found out some sort of truth about them. What's the King of Wands? Ten of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse. This person still wants you, Leo. They still want you. But you know what? I do feel, I really do feel like what I was talking to you about at the beginning of the reading, um, about this person not not offering anything new they're not offering commitments you know they want to come back around to you but i don't see them offering offering anything new to you and i feel like that's the expectation you had on this person to 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 take accountability to take responsibility to you know, grow up, be mature, and come towards you the right way. But I feel like this person is avoiding taking responsibility or accountability of something. And they want, I can see that they want you though. They want you, but, and they want to return back to you, but they're not offering you anything, anything new. It's it's the same situation. What's the Eight of Cups here? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Upright. Walked away from a commitment. And the Tower in reverse. Somebody walked away from a commitment or from the potential for a commitment. I feel like things were going really well, though. For some reason, I feel like things were moving in a good direction. And then somebody just kind of messed things up here and...
Yeah, and the tower with the the tower in reverse. They they cause the tower moment here. They cause things to kind of fall apart, break apart. But I feel like it was it was already built up pretty far up. You know. I feel like there was a certain foundation. It, I feel like there was trust. You know. I feel like there was a there was a level of trust that was built that took time it took time to build it up and i feel like some sort of unfortunate event happened here that that made everything go to waste you know if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense all right i'm gonna continue in the extended reading leo and I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their real feelings for you. What are their real intentions with you? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.